my friends, how are you? How are you doing? How are you today? Dude, I have not filmed a YouTube video in like two fucking weeks. I have not felt the greatest lately. I just, I don't know, I've been in like a really weird headspace and I felt like at one point maybe my depression was coming back. At first I thought it was like, oh, Aunt Flo's just like hitting me real hard this month. But then, and that was like last month. And then I felt like, okay, uh, <laughs> it's still here. And then it just like kept on. And whenever I feel like my depression's coming back, I always get really like exhausted. And I obviously don't feel like being online, which is like super, I need to put makeup on. We're just gonna get ready and do get ready with me. I have a couple of products that I wanna show you guys, but and I'll tell you about them other than like my norm that I put on. So anyways, um, what, what was I saying? Oh yes, so uh, I obviously don't feel like being online, but it seems very counterintuitive um, because y'all's comments are so nice and you guys are always just the best. You're always so sweet with your comments and so nice and like, Whenever I read your comments, I'm like, oh my god, I love them so much. I can't take it. And it makes me like want to do shit. Obviously, there's always that one fucking asshole who wants to make passive aggressive comments and tell me what, how much of a piece of shit I am as if I don't know. But I mean, those usually don't bother me because I just focus like on the nice comments, obviously. But uh, I don't know what it is. It's like, if you've never had depression before, it's very weird because everything can be going just fine. You could be great. You have, like right now, I have basically the perfect life. I have a great family. We're doing great. I'm in a new house. I love my house. I love everything. But there are just waves that come where I just don't feel like doing anything. I try to take natural supplements. I listen to like motivational people, like listen to motivational speakers, read motivational books, do meditating, do things like that to try to alleviate it. But for me, it's not like I'm sad. I just get in this rut where like, I don't feel like doing anything. And I don't know, I just feel really tired all the time. So now I'm like, it's, it's not even that I'm, again, it's not that I'm sad. I just like get really exhausted and I feel like my body gets really exhausted, um, which scares me because, let me tell you this real quick before I uh, like get into this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, which on its own, I like, but because I have not tapped up on my Botox, which I will be doing very soon, let me know if you would like a vlog on that because I am going to a different doctor Tim got me a gift card for Mother's Day for uh, Botox, because that's what I asked him for. He got me other things too, but he got me that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try out this different doctor, but I've been waiting because I want to do a vlog on it. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. But anyways, um, I like the way it looks, but when I wear it on its own, it just like sinks in my forehead like so bad. Like I look at myself in the mirror like two hours later and I'm like, oh, Jesus, that, no, that doesn't look right. That's, mm-mm, because -mm, I'm so used to, like, not having those lines there now. <laughs> so I've been mixing it with my MAC uh, face and body, which is darker because, let me just also point out the fact that I'm so sorry. I would just like to apologize to all my pasty pirates out there because I feel like I'm turning my back on you, girl. Yes. That's right, I've been to the tanning bed. I can't help it, you guys. I like glow in the summertime. I just can't, I can't deal with it. So, I just wanted to throw that out there, put that out there, whatever. Don't judge me, Veronica, I'm a little rusty. Okay, it's been a while since I filmed a video. So anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I get, I it like makes me really nervous because if you guys remember when probably like two years ago those of you who have been with me that long my mom had a heart attack a couple of years ago and she never had any issues with her heart or anything like that and she said her symptoms were that she was like I have got to get this mop out of my face once well, like oh please Oh, this is so hard to do with foundation all over my hands thank you to all of you guys who 
complimented me on my um what's it called my uh what is that called chemical peel video of my curly hair i've been trying to wear it natural lately just because i'm trying to like get the damage under control because i want to lighten it again so i've been trying to like stay away from heating tools so i was like let me just wear it natural if you guys want to know how i got it curly again because it wasn't always like this curly it doesn't look the greatest today because last night uh after i got in the shower i just put it up in a ponytail like a bun and then when i woke up this morning i had to like re-wet re it and like redo it um but if you guys want to know like how i got it to like go curly again is my foundation too dark do i look like orange right now i don't know once i get my concealer on maybe it'll be okay i look like a beauty guru where my neck looks detached from my body <laughs> or my head not my neck my neck right here this necklace is like look it's two different colors but i've been going to the tanning bed and i'm a lot tanner i was going to wear my um what is this my naked skin foundation because it's a little bit darker but it's so deceiving because in the bottle look does this not look like it wouldn't <laughs> Excuse me, can I help you? Doesn't he sound like a pig? He's like, I swear to glob, he is part pig, part manatee, part baby hippo, part dog. He's more pig and manatee than he is dog. But anyway, um, where was I? Jesus, ADD, y'all know I'm up on the ADD. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So it made me really nervous because my mom said that her signs and symptoms before she had her heart attack was that she was like really exhausted all the time and like didn't want to do anything. Uh, and when we were talking to her cardiologist after she had her heart attack, he told me, yo, uh, your grandpa had CHF. Your mom had a heart attack at a young age. You need to go get your heart checked out because it obviously runs in your family. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I totally need to do that. Never did. While uh, I get a phone call, what it is today, even Tuesday? I think it was like Friday, no, maybe it was on Sunday. Saturday, whatever, whatever, sometime last week. I get a phone call <clears throat> from a friend of mine who I hadn't talked to in a couple of weeks and they were on vacation. They own like a lake house in Michigan and they were on vacation and she was like i had a fucking massive heart attack she's 38 years old she's like it was just like this fluke thing that her like main artery and her heart was severed and um she said that again like i won't go into it because you guys don't know her obviously but she it it was crazy she's like i felt like i was on a fucking episode of house nobody knew what it was she thought it maybe it was like her weight because she had put on a little bit of weight and she right now said that she's like heavier than she's ever been and she asked him if it was their weight and they said no it wasn't that her cholesterol was fine no blood pressure was fine whatever but it was just this weird fluke thing that she had this tear in like her main artery in her heart and she said that her she had been exhausted like she's like dude i would come home from work and I felt like I couldn't do anything else. Like I would come home from work and like do shit with the kids and then I would sleep. And I was just tired all the time, which scares me because I feel like sometimes I go through these phases where I'm just tired all the time and I don't know why. And it's not even like tired, like I'm yawning, but it's like my body is exhausted. It's weird whatever that's not I'm fine I'm fine and putting it out into the universe that I'm fine um but I am gonna go get checked out and I don't know how to go about doing it because I think you have to have a referral from your doctor or something but I am gonna go get checked out me and Tim both are because that scared the actual fuck out of us because um probably two or three weeks before that, I had another friend who was diagnosed with breast cancer at 38 years old. We're all 38, and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on, dude? It's crazy, right? 
So um, that has been what's going on with me lately. So whenever I like get in those moods, I try to like do things that I love to do. And not that I don't love YouTube, because I love YouTube and I love doing YouTube and I love making videos. But the thing with it is, is that it's like I get in this phase where I, I don't want to talk to anybody. Like I don't want to be, when I don't feel like myself, it comes across on camera. You know what I mean? And to be this like naturally like super energetic bubbly person and then just like not be that it feels weird it feels like what is wrong like i feel like you guys are gonna be like what is wrong with you bitch you know what i mean so it just makes me feel really weird to like be online and i know other people deal with it too because i just heard um or i just watched was that last night or something like that raw beauty christie's video where she's like dude i like know that these are the videos that people want to see but I don't know if these are the videos that I want to make and not that like I don't want to make makeup videos because I love making makeup videos I still love makeup um but I don't know it's just weird it's weird y'all I don't know how to explain it I got some fucked up brain okay girl that's the gist of it so anyways let's uh move on so I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who are like in my last video uh wishing me well wishes and everything like that. Thank you so much for just being fucking cool. Cause y'all know this, <laughs> here I said, I'm still talking about it. Yeah, I'm still talking about it. Um, I know I've always said that like YouTube's not my job. So for me, it's not a responsibility, I guess, to be on camera. Like I just like being on camera cause I like doing it. And because it's not a responsibility, uh i do like to just step back and take some breaks and like do other shit that i like doing uh over making videos you know what i mean like i choose to do other things that make me happy instead of trying to portray this person that i usually am when i don't feel like that person at the time does that make sense at all probably not but anyway so I've just been doing other things to take up my time like making stuff I've been making all kinds of shit girl I have bought this chair do y'all remember the chair I was telling you about that I bought uh it's the dude called it a club chair or whatever I'll throw out pictures here this is the chair that I got and this is like the let me scoot over so you can see the picture this is the before. It was like this navy blue chair with like these silver legs. And it was a dope ass chair. I got it for like 70 bucks. But when I put it in my bedroom, I was like, I really want, I really wanted like a teal chair for my bedroom just as like a pop of color. And when I put it in my bedroom, I felt like the navy just wasn't like popping enough. So I had looked up online how you paint, I guess you can paint chairs, I never knew. Because I was looking up stuff on like reupholstery, like DIY reupholstery, and I had just come across this like, people painting they fucking chairs with like chalk paint and shit. And I was like, ooh, I wanna do that. So we literally like spray painted it and got new feet at Menards and stained them and that's it. And it turned out so fucking good now i have to get like some kind of wax or some shit like that to put on it i don't know girl something uh so that way the color doesn't come off on your clothes but it turned out so cute and i love it so much and i've been making a fuck ton of macrame stuff and just like focusing on the creating things because that makes me happy and puts me in my happy place so uh what where am I? oh yes i know i wanted to talk to you guys about uh this fucking wet wild highlighter this loose wet wild highlighter is so nice <laughs> it has damn near not damn near but it has completely replaced my makeup forever starlet powder and i have not gotten the chance to get to ulta yet to be able to oh there went something to be able to um, get like the gold tone one. Cause I know this one's the pink tone. This one's you glow girl. Yes, this one's you glow girl. And then there is a gold tone one and then like a bronzy tone one. I'm really hoping and praying with my lucky stars that the gold tone one is like light enough to highlight on me. Cause as much as I love 
this one uh, I just feel like the gold one would just go with my skin tone better you know so uh, you just wait look I put some in this little cap right here tap it off a little bit sometimes I don't even tap it off girl if I want to get real crazy and then I put it right here oh my god it's just so nice look is that not so nice and natural dude I fucks with a loose highlighter like press highlighter what who who are you I don't even know that bitch I don't know no press highlighter because I love me a fucking loose highlighter and I rub it all over my forehead y'all know I like my forehead to look nice and shiny so my pack of hot dogs doesn't show I think I'm gonna do a, a favorites video because I got some random ass favorites I haven't done a random ass favorites in a while and since I've been doing my hair super curly um I got some products so curly girl products that are quite fancy so if you guys want to see a favorites video let me know uh what else did i want to talk to you guys oh yeah um so the t-shirt thing i know a lot of you guys have been asking about the merch thing and y'all their fucking t-shirts are still out of stock still out of stock and then if you guys remember i had mentioned uh, going and getting a vendor's license or like a retail or resale license uh, to order so if you remember the t-shirts that I got are from I go through a separate distributor but the maker of the t-shirt is called Bella canvas or Bella and canvas something along the lines of that and I was trying to order my t-shirts from their website directly and so I do all this shit and I go to the application and you cannot, they are so far, it's really dark. What happened to the sun, girl? What happened to the sun? Hold on. Um, you go to, you fill out this application. You are, there's so many stipulations behind this clothing brand, which sucks because they have cool shit. Once it is sent out to a distributor and that person distributes distributes it then you can do it for like what you want but if you order directly from them you are not allowed to use it for like commercial sales you're not allowed to use their clothes for uh self-promotion like there's so many stipulations on it and i'm like what are you supposed to use them for because you can't buy them as a normal consumer and if you have a resale or a vendor's license or whatever you like basically like you can't print on them you can't do like anything with them and it's like why why are you so picky it's like the fucking secret society of like really good fucking t-shirts and i'm like i want in the illuminati t-shirt people thing i want to be a t-shirt fucking illuminati and you can't you can't you have to have special powers or something and it fucking pisses me off so and lo and behold like my distributor is still out of stock the white shirts have now um, are they have one size in stock which is size small my black shirts are two sizes in stock which is small and medium I believe and it's like what the fuck the only thing that has consistently stayed in stock this entire fucking duration oh and I emailed them too and they said they emailed me back finally and said that they periodically stock small amounts at a time and I'm like uh <laughs> no you don't because <laughs> I've been on that motherfucking website every goddamn day girl check it to see if my shit is a stock and I don't have the funds to like buy mass quantities like if it were if that was the case and say they stocked like 20 black shirts in a fucking size large like I don't have the numbers to be able to stop to like go buy those right so I don't know how many you guys are buying I don't know how many I'm selling so I can't exactly go and buy 20 black shirts in a size fucking large because I don't know if I'm gonna sell that many so uh, what I believe that I have decided to do for now because I'm tired of waiting I am just as anxious to create them as you guys are to buy them and to wear them um what i think i'm gonna do because the unisex colors are fine they have been in stock because i check the unisex t-shirts every day oh well, now that i just dumped my highlighter all over my booking self anyway um 
the you I've got a lot of highlighter on. I think I maybe I need to stop. I never highlight my cupids bow because what's the point? Your lipstick's just gonna get hurt up away. Um anyways, so uh where, where was I? Oh yes, so I go on the website every day and I check the unisex t-shirts and I check the women's fitted tee, I check the women's v-neck, and I check um that's it, right? The women's, let me think, women's v-neck, women's fitted, unisex, yes. I check all those. And the unisex tee has consistently been in stock. Like, in, it, I've never seen it out of stock in every color that I've chosen. So, what I'm thinking about doing is, and y'all let me know if you want to do this or you just want to wait. I hope you just want to do this. <laughs> because as it stands, I promise girl, this is not one of my like makeshift, oh, I'm gonna do this and then forget about it or just ignore it or like don't do it because I have invested money in this. <laughs> I've invested a few hundred dollars in this. I have a website which is unpublished that I am currently paying monthly for. I have plugins to my website that I am currently paying bi-weekly for. There is an email that is linked, like a customer service email that's linked to my website that I pay on top of all the other stuff I pay. So I'm paying for this and nothing is happening. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm putting money into it and the money ain't coming back, girl. So what I'm thinking about doing is either just releasing unisex tees for now or releasing the um like women's fitted tees and the v-neck tees only because those are fucking half of those are out of stock too only releasing the women's tees and the v-neck tees in certain colors well basically one color gray <laughs> so what do you guys think about that are you cool with that are you down with that because i'm fucking like ready to get the ball rolling this is just like a something that i'm like the reason why i wanted to wait is because i wanted everybody to have a chance to get everything they wanted you know like if you're somebody that like i don't fuck with gray or i don't fuck with black maybe you want a white shirt i just wanted everybody to have a chance to get what it was that they wanted what i told you i had make sense so let me know if you guys um are cool with just releasing unisex shirts and gray shirts or should i just release unisex shirts please let me know down below uh what you think i should do because girl it's like i'm just ready to get on it i'm just ready to get it done like not get it done but i, I want to do it <laughs> i have like everything ready to do it and i can do it so I just want to do it. Continuing on, let me know. Don't forget, let me know in the comments below. Please, please girl. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this fucking amazing, this is Wet n Wild again. This fucking amazing Mega Jelly Inchato is so fucking nice, girl. Like, <laughs> I never thought I would like a product so much. So because it's summer and, you know, I've just been like on that less, more natural makeup train lately uh this shit is like so fucking fire and i want to go get some more because i like it very much so uh as of now i have the color wedding season and champagne diet which i mean that's a lie because this is completely dried out champagne diet is because my doge my baby hippopotamus slash manatee slash pig decided to have his way with it and now it's no longer usable so we're going to use this one today i really like this one though i'm gonna go rebuy it uh so basically it's just like have you ever do you guys remember when um what is that brand what's that brand butter butter london remember when butter london had something like this it was like this jelly thing i don't even remember what they were called but i fucks with those hard because they were so pretty and they stayed on for so long and they were so nice um this is like essentially the exact same thing but the cool thing is that you can blend these out and they almost like blend out matte which is weird as fuck i know because they're like so sparkly so i just use like i think i either got this from shop hush 
that website maybe did they this might have been something that shop hush sent me or it is real techniques i don't think it's real techniques because it doesn't have a number or name or anything so i literally use this brush and this brush this old ass like real techniques i'm pretty sure it's like a fucking concealer brush or some shit like that deluxe crease brush okay it's not a concealer brush but it's i'm using it for its intended use so I use these two brushes I use this to blend it out and I use this to put it on and it's so easy and so nice and so fresh and so pretty so basically what I do is I just I take like a lot of it at first right and I put it over my eyelid so I put the majority of it on my eye or on my eyelid <laughs> on my lid let me get a little bit more I've been using it so much it's like almost tapped out girl because it's such a nice look, especially for the summertime. It's super fucking easy, but you look like you tried and you look like you did something with yourself. That is my favorite type of makeup. The type that takes little to no effort, but you look like a fucking professional bitch. Like, yes, give it to me all day long, bitch. Then I take this brush and I just blend it out. And it like blends out like you have another eyeshadow on. It's fucking insane and I love it so much. More than anything else in the world right now not really because i love my dog more but it's so fucking nice sometimes it gets a little messy and if it gets a little messy and you're like sparkly goes in the wrong direction you just wipe it off that's all you do you just wipe it off that's it you just wipe it off but look doesn't it look like i have like two shadows on i fucking love it girl i love it so much and then I'll just take this big ass brush even and I'll run it under my eyes like a so just like that just like that and I'll take the other brush and I'll blend them all fuck out and it just looks so nice and you can like really blend it out real nice and good and then if I get too crazy with it I just take my beauty blender and just do that and it looks like you fucking did something to yourself and you didn't it took you like two seconds it's amazing is that not amazing i fucking love it girl so nice so nice i just love it so fucking much and it's like so pretty for the summer when you get your lashes on you could get real fucking crazy maybe put a little wing put a little eyeliner with it if you want to it's so nice so i i did not want to forget to tell you guys about this so i'm gonna go get more colors i'm gonna go to ulta at some point in time this week and get some fucking makeup girl like i feel like i have not makeup shopped in a really long time i'm literally out of like all my skincare everything because i have honestly been spending all my money on the landscaping <laughs> for my house that was like a huge fucking stressor for me because what happened was i like don't even want to go into it because <laughs> it just stresses me out but if you if y'all follow me on uh instagram stories if you remember a while ago i had put an instagram story up that was like yo we had to rip out all of our landscaping because it looked like shit and it was overgrown and half the shit was dead so we ripped literally everything out except for we got some bushes on the sides um, and then like in our backyard, there's a couple of bushes. I, I think I had popped a picture up on Instagram at one point, or maybe I even did on video, but I'm, I don't think I did on video. I think it was just the gram. So we had somebody come and landscape it and it was a friend of ours. And what happened was when Tim asked him if he wanted to do the job, coincidentally, oddly enough, um, he also had a heart attack a couple of months ago a couple of months before he was like coming to do the work for her house and tim said yo if this is too much for you because it was a lot like our entire front of our house needed new plants replanted needed new mulch like we wanted to build like brick walls or he kept calling them castle walls i don't really know what they're called but you know where you take bricks or like circle a tree or something with it we wanted to do that and like there was a lot of stuff that needed done, okay? Um, he was like, dude, if you can't handle it, like if it's too much work, whatever, just let me know. And he was like, no, it's cool, I got it, I got it. Um, and what had happened was, 
we got everything together we finally came to a decision on what we wanted and he granted let me throw this out there it was not entirely his fault because of the rain it has rained so fucking much in Ohio not like the last week but the week before that and the week before that it was just like non-stop rain every other fucking day but the problem was is that the days when it actually was nice and he would have been able to come he didn't so he just kept putting it off and putting it off and then um oh and another thing is that the things that we were telling him that we wanted he like wasn't writing down so he um there just kept like a lot of miscommunication kept going on uh so which sucked because we were like getting so frustrated he was also getting frustrated because he like you know wasn't remembering and i don't know it was, it was just a mess girl so what happened was was he like kept putting it off and putting it off and then he was like okay it was like a thursday or something he's like i promise i'll be done by tuesday i'm gonna quit lying to you because he kept telling us like i'll be there this day or i'll be there that day and stuff just kept popping up like one day it was like the most beautiful day of the fucking year and we're like yes he's gonna be there he's gonna get so much work done and he never came and i sat here all day waiting on him he never called and he never came and uh apparently his mother um her something happened with her septic tank and he had to fix it but he never told me that so i sat here very upset all day because i just wanted it done and the thing was is like at the time <laughs> our house looked like the shitty house on the block like we now live in a, a very nice neighborhood all of the houses are very nice they're very well maintained they're very well landscaped in our house it's not like it's a shitty house our house is beautiful but like it didn't look that way <laughs> you know what I mean and I was like oh my god I'm so fucking embarrassed because like we live in this like really nice house now and it looks like she compared to all the other houses you know so I don't know it was just stressing me out like unnecessarily like I usually am super fucking laid back and I never get stressed out about shit but that shit girl was stressing me out and at one point he had like brought the wrong mulch and it was just a mess girl so what happened was the day that he came to do everything which was Monday not a Tuesday which I was totally down for um he said he had to go on vacation and so he was like in a really big hurry to get it done and they did oh look there's my neighbor's cat <laughs> they did a really good job but they also did not do like the front was not what we talked about um my i went searching i went to like six nurseries searching for this walker weeping willow tree because my neighbor has one i really like it and i thought that is the perfect size and everything little tree little tree looks so nice i want this right in front of my house right here uh so we planted it and because one day he came and just like planted all of our plants because my plants sat in front of my house for like a week in pots looking hillbilly as fuck so uh he came and he planted it and then um we were supposed to have like a circle around it like a wall brick wall around it with like white rock in the middle and he moved my plants <laughs> and moved the yuccas because they had yuccas beside it moved those beside the sidewalk and it just looks weird it looks so nice like all the neighbors are like oh my god it looks so nice i can't believe how nice it looks blah, blah, blah. and it does look really nice and it did do a good job but that bothers me because it's not what we talked about and i am like borderline ocd so i'm like to me it looks off because it's so here's my sidewalk instead of it being back here and in a circle it's in a half circle and it's facing my neighbor's house <laughs> and i had two yuccas that were supposed to be outside of the circle that he was like what do you want me to do with these and i was like um I don't know because you like move them so I'm, I'm very confused so I said put one on each side of the tree and he put them both on one side of the tree so now it looks like the tree and then the two yuccas and then they face in that way and now my twee listen to me bitching god damn I am fucking negative 
Nadine today, am I not? I'm really not though, I'm really in a good mood today. I'm just saying, let, I'm just telling the story of what happened, girl, I don't want me to put negative energy out to the fucking world. But anyway, um, I said to put one on each side and then he put two and now it's facing that way and it looks weird and now my tree looks like it's dying. And I wonder, it was an expensive ass tree girl. <laughs> it was like $140 for a fucking tree. Um, I wonder if it's like in shock because he planted it and then dug it up and moved it again. Cause trees can like go in shock. They don't like that shit. They're like, whoa bitch. I thought we had already established my home and now you're trying to move me again. No, they ain't having it. So I'm hoping it's just because of that and that it'll sprout back up because it's got some little dead little things on it because it's like a weeping tree so it's dying girl I don't know I don't know I mean I can take it back and get another one if it dies within a year but still though still though I'm like oh my poor tree I love it so much I went to five nurseries just to fucking find you and now that I did find you you're dying also realized that I really fucking like going outside and watering my plant. I always like doing things with my plants inside because I got a lot of plants inside too. And I always like to like go check on them every day and like clip them if they need clipped and do things and stuff for them. But I have come to the realization that I fucking love being outside and like doing things in my yard because we never had that before. We lived down a really long lane out in the country. Nobody ever saw our fucking house. Our house was surrounded by cornfields. So I just didn't care, you know? But now that we're like in town, we have this nice ass house. Like I love tending to like my house and stuff like that. I kinda, sorta, kinda maybe want to garden, but I don't really eat vegetables. I just want something to plant, take care of. So I have been like, Seriously, it just makes me so happy to like make pots. Dude, I made a fucking cement pot like this big around with a yoga ball and it was the best thing I in my life. And all my neighbors compliment my pot that I made with a fucking yoga ball and it's so cool. And I love it so much and it was making me happy. That was like I was saying, doing things that make me happy, those were the things that were making me happy at the time. Like I just love it so much. I've also kind of come to the realization that in all of this, because you know, the whole landscaping debacle happened, um, and we actually had to go back through and like edge some things and remulch some things. Uh, I've come to the realization that you cannot have OCD <laughs> when it comes to landscaping. Like you just can't because plants are plants and they just grow like they want to grow they just grow all over the place they just they go everywhere you know what i'm saying so uh i'm trying to like dial my ocd back a little bit but it looks nice it looks good and we still have work to do we've been doing that uh quite a bit lately oh shit i forgot to tight line um at one point i was like going outside at like 10 in the morning and then doing all the things and not coming back inside until like six or seven and then cooking supper and then at that point I was like exhausted and didn't want to do anything so um been dealing a lot with like landscaping and shit like that but it's almost done and I'm super excited for when it gets done because our next project like I love having little projects to do on our house oh my god it's like it's just so satisfying and like I don't know I have just been I always have been but lately I've been so into like making things with my hands and doing things and gardening and just doing stuff with my plants and making little things and stuff girl it's just what makes me happy is what what I've been living for lately Oh, my eyelash fell out. There was an eyelash that fell out. I need to go get some lash serum because I'm out of it. And I noticed that when you don't use lash serum, your lashes will like go back to the little twangy little pieces of shit that they used to be before you started using that serum. Uh, I have noticed that I haven't used it in probably two, three weeks maybe. 
that my eyelashes are starting to fall out so I need to get me some serum and uh, get back on that shit you know cause I don't want my eyelashes to fall out and I wanna um, do a perm and tint them do you guys remember when I did that I think I did a video on it right yeah I did I did a perm and I tinted them I love doing that cause it's so nice like Especially for the summertime, because, like, when you go to the pool or whatever, like, you don't want to look like fucking Fiona from Shrek when you're, like, at the pool. I know some people wear makeup and stuff. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll do, like, a face and body because it's waterproof. But when you tint and curl or and perm your lashes, it, like, looks like you have some mascara on, even though you don't. And it's fair, fair not, the girl. It's fair not. All right, time for yeep stink. What do I want? I kind of want to like have some color on my lips today since my eyes are just, look, dude, I fucking love these shadows. I want to buy like 10 more. Just saying, they're so fucking nice. These little jelly things are so, so goddamn nice. What do I want to do on my lips? I kind of want to do like some color or something. This might be too much color. This is the Butter Gloss Intense in the shade chocolate crap chocolate crap ooh also you guys what is that girl is this Jaclyn Hill lipstick I got hair, dog hair of a lipstick and it's not even a Jaclyn Hill <laughs> what up with that though that's crazy I kind of feel sorry for her I, I mean I don't even fuck with Jaclyn Hill like that but ooh girl you done fucked up how the hell can you have quality control and have that happen? You know what I mean? I'm going to put this on top of it, this Anastasia gloss, in the color. I don't know because it's not on here. <laughs> Did the sticker fall off? The sticker must have fallen off. It looks like this though. Sorry about it. I don't know what color it is. I'm going to kind of lighten this up a little bit. But anyways, there is like so much insanity around that. And she's just like out here not doing shit. Like what girl? I mean, I'm sure she's doing something, but like not what everybody expected her to do. I gotta block this off. Mm, yeah, I fucks with that. I don't fucks with that. I could you imagine, I always try to put myself in the other person's shoes but like talk about something coming back to bite you in the ass because I do feel like um, either she had the shittiest lab ever <laughs> and said it was the best lab in the USA or she it, okay three scenarios here she either had the shittiest fucking cheapest lab she could find shitty AF no like background checks no nothing just ooh, this lab costs all the none of the money so let me use this one and fucking dog hair and fuzz mold ended up in her lipsticks or like everybody is assuming she let those lipsticks sit on a shelf for an allotted period of time <laughs> aka two years and then push them out or they had some type of weird ass fucking contamination just like this fluke thing going on at the lab that she's in which is so fucking weird because like I just don't understand if you're like doing quality control because is it qual do you do you know anybody that works in the lab you guys work in labs doesn't quality control like you look at that like every lipstick that goes out don't they like check those and then like roll them down cap them box them ship them isn't that how that goes maybe i'm wrong i don't know anything about cosmetic labs or anything like that i guess i can take my hair out can i um i don't know anything about that shit so i would just assume that that was like the nature of the game that you look at it i don't know from what i see in like movies and stuff <laughs> that that's what happens right right dude my hair is like on one today because i washed it last night and you see that big ass gray streak right there, girl? Oh my God, that's why I wanna go blonde. I wanna do like baby lights or something. I need to do that soon. I keep telling myself every week, this week I'm gonna dye my hair and I never do. So, okay, I just, I gotta go. I'm 
chatty cat because I haven't been on the interwebs for a really long time. Let me know about the t-shirts down below. Should I just say fuck it and do unisex t-shirts and gray t-shirts? Please let me know. I hope you guys are like on board with it because I'm like losing money here, girl. I'm losing money. Um, let me know about that. Let me know if you would like to see a favorites video, like a random ass favorites video. I probably will just do that anyways. I wish I had time today, but I have to take my mother-in-law to um, the grocery store. I also have to start teaching her how to drive, <laughs> which is amazing because she is 64 years old and never drove a day in her life. I started doing it last year and we never got above 20 miles per hour, but you know, takes time, takes time, takes time, patience. This is how I'm practicing patience. I always find some way to practice patience. This is my way this year. Practice patience. Teach a 64 year old lady how to drive. 64 year old lady how to drive. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys for sticking around and always being so cool. Even when my brain goes haywire and I don't want to fucking talk to anybody or be on the internet. You guys are fucking awesome when that happens and you're just like, all right, bitch, just, you know, whenever you make a video, make a video, which is dope as fuck. I wish everybody had subscribers like that because I feel like people are a little bit too hard on YouTubers because they are so used to like their consistency that if something happens and it's not consistent that they feel like they're like entitled to that you know what I mean and you guys aren't y'all are not you guys are fucking awesome and I love you I love you so much okay I'm gonna go take my mother-in-law to the grocery store which is super fun it's just whatever around here it's mess we're the messy gang okay and we like it that way okay I'm gonna go because now I'm saying stupid things I love you guys Thank you for watching my video. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't, because I fucks with a good dislike too. Comment, say hey, what's up, because I love talking to you guys in the comments. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.